Hey, what's going on ladies and gents? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today, I'm going to be talking about whether or not you should pull for Ari Ayaka or if you want to pull for Yoimiya. And let's just get into it real quick. First things first, thank you guys so much for the support the past few days, especially on the last few videos. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed today's video, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel as well. I'm not going to hold you guys too much or stall for longer. <laughs> Yoimiya and Ayaka both look incredibly fun. They look fun to play, they look cool, and I cannot wait for each of them to come out. Myself, I'm more excited for Yoimiya. For the sole reason is I have too many cryo characters. And I just want a pyro DPS that's not clean. <laughs> um, I don't know if she is a DPS or not yet. I mean, maybe. <laughs> Anyways. I have Eula, and Eula's the, my whole quote-unquote cryo, you know, DPS or whatever. Even though she's physical, she's not exactly cryo, but I think, I don't know, I just don't want to replace Eula with Ayaka, and I don't know, Ayaka doesn't seem that interesting to me, but I really want Ayaka. <laughs> so, she's not interesting in the terms of, you know, meta or damage or whatever. But she's really cool in terms of her character design, in terms of her how she looks and her whole demeanor and whatever it is. I really like Ayaka as a character. But myself, I'm I see myself going for Yoimiya in this situation. The only reason I say this is Yoimiya is a pyro, you know, bow user, but she is also a pyro like app. She's a pyro enabler, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Um. Both characters look really fun, both characters I would definitely enjoy playing, especially because they're new, they're fresh, and I, I don't know, I'm having a tough time deciding, because I also want balls. So my next character in my main account is going to be guaranteed, no matter what. So if I go for one of these characters, I have to choose wisely. And a lot of you guys are also like in the same situation as me, or maybe you, you have a 50-50 shot. I really want ball. that's the ultimate goal. So if I have to go with either one with the mindset of Oh, you can go for one but you're going to get 50-50 on ball Which is pretty scary to me So yeah, let's talk about a little bit about Ayaka Ayaka is really cool, she's fun And what it looks like to me from the whole character demo Is she is really easy to use So if you want someone to apply cryo real quick Ayaka is going to be perfect Because you can just press your elemental skill She does that AoE type application And it looks kind of cool um, I'm sure this has its particular effects and debuffs or buffs or whatever it is to other enemies and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty cool to use but I'm, I'm, okay this is just me saying speculation and stuff like that but it's going to be the damage so if you want you're going to have to have a fire support such as Zhang Ling in, in a sense I really hope they add more you know more Bennett's <laughs> So you're going to need a character like Zhangling to help you support. So you can just put on Zhangling's um, little, little little teddy bear and it's going to apply that fire and then you just go with a DPS on Ayaka and just ap apply whatever cry whatever it is. But honestly, I'm not that interested in damage or how she outputs or whatever it is. I kind of just like how she looks. She looks pretty awesome. A whole samurai type character with her auto attacks looking cool. So yeah, she just looks really fun and really interesting as a character in general. But I don't think we need more cryo characters. We need a lot more Hydra characters. Maybe Dendro once upon a time, as well as Electro. Uh, we've only had one Hydra character come into the game, I think, Tartaglia. And he's a 5 star character, unfortunate. But we also had zero Electro characters come into the game, which is also unfortunate. But now... Now we're getting the Electro characters, we're getting um, the bow user, the one that's going to power creep Fisher, <laughs> and also uh, Ball. Oh, I think another one too, Yeimika, Yeimika is another Electro character that's going to be coming out, which is pretty interesting, she looks really fun, not fun, she looks really interesting to me, and maybe I'll pull on her as well. Anyways, we don't have that many Prima Gems, ladies and gents, so we, we gotta choose carefully here, <laughs> and uh, yeah, anyways. Yoimiya. Yoimiya looks incredible. I cannot wait to use her. I'm almost guaranteed to try to pull for her. I just really hope I can get her early and then just drop out of the banner completely and now save up for ball and just put everything into ball because I mean 
the situation I have right now is on my free to play account, I'll roll for Yoimiya, but if I lose the 50 50 on Yoimiya, I might consider doing it on my main account. I'll consider it, but both of these characters I might not even pull on just because the next character that might come out is Ball, or just me, me wanting Ball, me wanting Ball's weapon. It's so much to think about, and it's kind of unfortunate that I can't have them all, but it is what it is. And there's a lot to be coming out, you know? And it's kind of an exciting future for Genshin Impact in general. Both of these characters, Ayaka and Yoimiya, look really, really cool. And whichever one you guys decide to get, decide on one that, you know, you, you see or deem as fun. I'm gonna pull on a fun character that I see. But the whole main account goal I have is just to pull on all the Archons. I have to have all the Archons no matter what. As well as a character that look fun to me. Ball looks cool. And she's probably like a death machine, kills everything in their path, but she looks cool. <laughs> and yeah, it looks really fun. And Genshin Impact's future looks really bright. I really hope Inazuma is content filled to the brim, not just story, not just exploration, but also new domains. Of course, we have the new artifact domains, new. You know those domains that you go just to get some Prima Gems and then leave? I hope those ones stay and like sort of get a weekly refresh maybe. You can go into the domain once a week, get so 60 gems and dip. I feel like that's gonna be really cool if they do something like that. But it's just me wishful thinking. And yeah, I mean that's gonna be pretty much it for the video. Uh, I myself am going to pull on Yoimiya's banner, my free to play account. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be pulling on Ayaka even though she looks really really fun and really really cool. But it is what it is. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel. See you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.